Breaking news, people in Hollywood scrambled to get their cars out of an underground parking garage that was filling up with water from a water main break. CBS News' Jasmine Ville is live for us in Hollywood. She just got there, Jasmine. Yeah, it just arrived within minutes, and you can see you still have water streaming, flowing down Hudson Avenue here, right at Willoughby. And look at all the mud also that's just accumulated here on the sidewalk. Uh, this parking garage and part of this apartment complex isn't so bad, right? You see maybe a couple inches on the ground, but let's walk up the sidewalk here because uh, the other underground parking garage was not so lucky. Look how much water flowed in and just flooded and filled up, uh, submerging at least halfway this Ford SUV. And it's unclear if the driver knows the bad news that is awaiting him. Uh, if he's already come out to see this fire at one point, as you're taking a look overhead from Sky 2, how bad it was just uh, uh, about an hour or so ago. But if these drivers were able to get some of their cars out of here, some of the owners here living at AEA Properties, 903 Hudson, and this is where uh, the worst of the problem seems to be happening. A lot of the water is already drained and cleared out of the street. I don't see any crews working up the street near Romaine. And this is very close also to Santa Monica Boulevard. It seems at least this street is mostly residential. Uh, but you, you can bet that a lot of people are go going to be without water for a few hours, or at least uh, they're not having uh, a lot of water coming out of their faucets this morning just with how much flowed out of this broken water main. Let's bring it back out here live. You see some people up the street. I'm going to have Al, my photographer, pan up. That's You're looking toward Romaine, and that's where I'm waiting to see if crews are going to start working on this broken water main. Uh, as we know, I've covered these many times. You see this happen so often. This is a very old infrastructure. All of these pipes, some can be close to 100 years old. And Jeff and Sharon, as I pointed out, as we pan down, look at all this thick mud. And this is what's covering uh, most of the ground as, as you get further up the street as well. So uh, I, I bet they're going to be arriving shortly. But as you can see, the water here on Hudson still flowing. So at least at this point, uh, the pipe still broken until they can actually get that water turned off.